All right, we'll get uh, we'll get started. Honored guests, comrades, members of the auxiliary and friends, the members of Post 6538, veterans of foreign wars of the United States, are assembled here to remember comrades who are being held as prisoners of war or missing in action. We must not forget the sacrifices these comrades are still making and the suffering they are still enduring for us and our way of life. They must remain alive in our minds and hearts until we know they have returned home to their loved ones or have been called to the bosom of our Heavenly Father. We must continue to give moral support to the families who also continue to suffer along with them. At this time, we'll have our opening prayer. <coughs> Uncover. Almighty God and everlasting Father, we praise and glorify you. Thank you for the many blessings you have bestowed upon our great nation. Father, we ask you to guide our missing comrades through every day and night. Give them unbound strength and courage to continue their efforts to survive and return home to their loved ones. If they perish, Lord, we ask you to welcome them to the place you have prepared for them where they will rest in eternal peace. Amen. 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 Let us all rededicate ourselves to the flag of our country by reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. And I will ask the, uh, the scouts to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Present arms. To the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, Individual, liberty, and justice for all. Lord Thank you. I didn't know if I was going to be able to remember that or not. You guys are good. Today, uh, you may be seated. Except for the ones in the back, unless you really want to see them. Today, more than 81,600 Americans remain missing. Approximately 72,000 from World War II, 7,500 from the Korean War, 1,500 from the Vietnam War, 126 from the Cold War. And we have three service members from Libya and Desert Storm that are still missing, and three civilian contractors from Iraq that are still missing. Of those 41, of those, over 41,000 of the missing are presumed lost at sea. That's a lot when you think about it. But the good news, <clears throat> since this time last year, 144 of these missing in action have been or are in the process of being returned home, including one to Massachusetts Korean War veteran so that's good <clears throat> we're going to uh, talk about the uh, the uh, observance table the POW MIA remembrance table uh, as a symbol of missing and captive service members the POW MIA table originated during the time of the Vietnam War all known American prisoners of war were released in 1973 following the Paris Peace Accord agreement between North Vietnam, South Vietnam, and the United mm -hmm. States. While the agreement ended the long war, open wounds were left in America's national consciousness. An unpopular war in America, the Vietnam War brought hard times to our nation and even more to our veterans. The soldiers and military personnel sent to serve there in active combat returned to an unfriendly homeland that largely didn't honor their service and sacrifice or self on foreign soil. However, out of those troubling times, 
come new symbols of caring for our MIA and POW service members. Initiated by loving family members and concerned organizations, these outward symbols included the POW bracelets. Now, I know somebody <coughs> said that they had one uh, at one time. And uh, yellow ribbons, a POW flag, and a POW MIA remembrance table, or it's also known as a missing man table. Those who have served and those currently serving in the uniformed services of the United States are, are ever mindful that the sweetness of endurance, enduring peace, has always been tainted by the bitterness of personal sacrifices. We are compelled to never forget that while we enjoy our daily pleasures, there are others who have endured and may still be enduring the agonies of pain, deprivation, and internment. So we will call your attention to the small table which occupies a place of dignity and honor. It is set for one, symbolizing the fact that members of our armed forces are missing from our ranks. They are referred to as POWs and MIAs. We call them comrades. They are unable to be with their loved ones and families today, so we join together here to pay our humble tribute to them and bear witness to their continued absence. The table, set for one, is small, symbolizing the frailty of one prisoner ag alone against their suppressors. The tablecloth is white, symbolic of the purity of their intentions to respond to the country's call to arms. <clears throat> the chair is empty and represents no specific soldier, sailor, airman, or marine, but all who are not here with us. The black napkin represents the emptiness these warriors have left in the hearts of their friends and families. The single red rose in the base signifies the blood that may have shed and sacrificed to ensure the freedom of our beloved United States of America. The yellow ribbon on the base represents the yellow ribbons worn on the lapels of thousands who demand with unyielding determination a proper accounting of our comrades who are not among us today. A slice of lemon on the plate reminds us of their bitter fate. The salt sprinkled on the plate reminds us of the countless volunteers of families as they wait. The glass is inverted. They cannot toast with us this day. The candle is reminiscent of the light of hope which lives in our hearts to illuminate, illuminate their way home, away from their cap captors to the open arms of a grateful nation. At this time, I'll ask uh, uh, for the reading of the poems. If uh, I'll get one to go first, I'll pick on my wife. A Mother's Plea. Please, please, Mr. President, I ask of you today, go to Southeast Asia and bring my boy home to stay. It's been years of broken promises. It's been tortured day and night. I want my boy, dead or alive. I beg you, hear my plight. And you, my friends and neighbors, believe in my young son. He went and served his country, and the war was never won. I ask you all to listen and heed this mother's plea. Stand up and fight for freedom of our sons across the sea. A mother's love is strong and true, but it's really getting late. To save this precious son of mine, please help me learn his fate. Missing in action, I am an MIA, still waiting here today. In a war that no one wanted, I was lost and left behind. With news of me discounted, truth in me hard to find. 
My mother cried when she heard the news. While protesters cried, I was paying my dues. My father wept, then put memories away, waiting patiently for the day when I was found and brought back home. It never happened. I'm here alone. I did nothing to dishonor, yet you still dishonor me. How can you disremember when my soul is not yet free? I should have not been forgotten. You don't even know my fate. I am buried in some wreckage or alive with forced, but forced to wait. Till God calls me home up yonder and I pass through heaven's gate, I will not ask forgiveness as I did nothing wrong. I won't be asked to be remembered by grand words in some sweet song. I am here because you left me. It is so simple, don't you see? It is but one thing I ask of thee. Will you come for me? By what right was I abandoned? By who say I was betrayed? When my honor was so, so forsaken, leaving me was first okay? I am an MIA, still waiting here today. The Living Dead. The war is over, so it's said. All the men are home or dead. Don't you know I want to cry that some of us refuse to die? Where are your ears, my countrymen, when refugees tell you the state I'm in? Don't you care that I live in hell with only my soul left to sell? I wonder each and every night how much longer I can fight it's not easy to survive when your country leaves you alive. I've watched friends die one by one. Despair killed them, not a gun. They died abandoned, forgotten and alone, because no one cared to bring them home. I, too, may go this way or find freedom on execution day. But you, my friend, will never be free knowing that you have deserted me. For the prisoners of war, my country, America, why did you forsake me? What did I do so wrong for you to abandon me? For serving you well, you left me in hell upon this fair earth in utter bewilderment. These many years I have crawled through life as a most lonesome creature, hoping each day the sun dawned upon me that you would remember. Come, bring me forth from the living grave, safe back home in your arms again. Seas of tears I have shed for you as I sat here in the filth of your shame for letting me suffer endless pain of my longing for home again. With aged eyes, the few of us left here ever look across those distant hills. Forlorn we we look, lost in time, by our nation seemingly blind, <clears throat> forgotten. Some call me POW, some call me MIA. Some say I can't go home again, some say I chose to stay. I'm the unknown soldier who you refuse to know. I'm the brother and the friend you left so long ago. I'm a farmer from Missouri, a soldier from St. Paul. I'm a sister's hero. I'm a name on the wall. I'm the unknown soldier, the one you left behind. I'm the country boy from Texas who you never tried to find. I'm someone's long lost daddy. I'm my father's pride and joy. I was someone's gentle lover and someone's little boy. I'm the unknown soldier with no more tears to shed. I'm the ghost of Christmas past. I'm the living dead. I'm a sailor and a scholar. I'm the boy who lived next door. I'm the poet and the dropout 
you sent to fight your war. I'm the unknown soldier who dreamed you'd rescue me. I'm the man who understands only death will set me free. How could you just forget me? Should I forget you too? You must try and bring me home, for I belong to you. I'm the unknown soldier who cry, whose cries are all in vain. Would you finally come for me if you could feel my pain? My country has betrayed me, but I've forgiven you. And every night I pray to God that he'll forgive you too. I'm tired and I'm hungry. I'm lonely and I'm cold. I'm the unknown soldier who's been bought and sold. If you could look around you, you would see my face. That man standing next to you could be here in my place. I'm the unknown soldier. I'm the one for whom you cried. I'm the one that you can't face, the one they told you died. We fought that war together at Magai and Plaku. Had you been the one we left, I would have come for you. I'm the unknown soldier who longs to be free. When you called, I answered. How will you answer me? I want to lie down beside you. I want to die in your arms. I just want you to hold me and help me to hang on. I'm the unknown soldier, the one you threw away. Some call me POW, some call me MIA. Okay, thank you. At this time, we usually take five minutes to light candles, but we're moving up in the world. So we have candles that turn on. If you just barely turn them, they will come on. If you turn them the other way, the batteries will fly out. <laughs> yep. yep. We've already did it. Um, stand by for roll call. In the past, I've, uh, I said this earlier, in the past we have done the roll call and the names, when we say the names, you always pictured of what they might look like. Well, this year I decided to put a face with those names so you can see who we actually still have missing. Some of them are young, and, well, most of all of them were young. So it's, uh, it's very heartbreaking to look at them and see that somebody's only 19, maybe 20 years old, went away, never came home. So. Roll call. Baxter, Bruce, Raymond. Missing action, sir. Jurassic, Eugene, Paul. Missing in action, sir. Baruch, Kenneth, Allen. Missing in action, sir. Bowles, Warren, William. Missing in action, sir. Bart, Russell, Peter. Missing in action, sir. Parkman, Draverton, C. Missing in action, sir. Dunn, Joseph, Patrick. Missing in action, sir. Earl, John, Stiles. Missing in action, sir. Farley, William D. Missing in action, sir. Dogan, Roger, Conrad. Missing in action, sir. Graves, Richard, Campbell. Missing in action, sir. Greenleaf, Joseph G. Missing action, sir. Grizzard, Robert H. Missing in action, sir. Harper, Richard K. Missing in action, sir. Power, 
Robert D. Missing in action, sir. Hen John Robert Jr. Missing in action, sir. Heron Henry Howard Jr. Missing in action, sir. Holmes David Hugh. Missing in action, sir. Thank you, Betty May. Kelly Daniel Martin. Missing in action, sir. Kerr Everett O. Missing in action, sir. King Paul Chester Jr. Missing in action, sir. Kinsman Gerald Francis. Missing in action, sir. Custigan Michael J. Missing in action, sir. Lever John Murray Jr. Missing in action, sir. McCann Henry Elmer. Missing in action, sir. <coughs> Magnuson James A. Jr. Missing in action, sir. McLaughlin Arthur B. Jr. Missing in action, sir. Miller Carlton Pierce Jr. Missing in action, sir. Warren Richard G. Missing in action, sir. Mullen William Francis. Missing in action, sir. Overlock John F. Missing in action, sir. Painter John Robert Jr. Missing in action, sir. Rogers Edward Francis. Missing in action, sir. San Sansone James J. Missing in action, sir. Smith William M. Missing in action, sir. Sullivan Martin Joseph. Missing in action, sir. Todd Robert Chasey. Missing in action, sir. Walker Ryan J. Missing in action, sir. And Waits Monek. Missing in action, sir. Those are all the names. Thank you. For those of us from the uh, from the military, that's that's what we used to do. You stand a roll call, and they call out your name and butcher it, <laughs> and uh, that's that's how you answer it. So that's that's what we're still doing for our POWs, MIAs, still making the roll calls. Hopefully, all these days it'll be down to nothing, and we won't have to do that. So. this time I'll ask if there's any last comments. Uh, anybody, would you like to say anything? I'd just very much like to thank everyone for coming and appreciating this situation. If it was someone in your family that was missing, you deserve to get information and hopefully get the body back if the person is deceased. And that's the reason we keep doing this, because we know how important it is for families to have an accounting and everyone to be remembered. So we very much appreciate you all being here and showing how much you care. Excellent. Uh, 
before we have our closing prayer, Vietnam veterans who are here. Jack is a Vietnam veteran. And uh, again, welcome home. Uh, any other Vietnam veterans? Don't know your name, sir. Mike Taylor. Mike, welcome home. Thank you guys for watching over us as we were growing up. So, thank you. At this time, we'll have our closing prayer. Uncover. Almighty God, we praise Thee, we glorify Thee, and we thank Thee for sparing us from the grasp of our enemies. Grant us full understandings of the suffering being endured by our comrades who are being held as prisoners of war or are still missing. We ask Thy blessings upon them that whatever comforts them, comforts they are denied, whatever evil they must endure may rebound to their everlasting happiness. Especially do we seek thy support for their loved ones. May thy grace be with them, always giving them the strength to do their daily tasks and the courage to meet the problems of life. We pray for those missing comrades who have been called to thy bosom, that whatever justice they have been denied in this life has been granted them in a hundredfold. Amen. Amen. Cover. I would like to thank our uh, our post and auxiliary uh, for being here and all the scouts. Thank you guys very much for coming and uh, being here with us. Uh, at this time, we will uh, do our final salute to uh, the colors. So pass, facing the flag of our nation, I render a salute. Present arms. Water, arms. They don't come lightly to a sailor, trust me. <laughs> These army guys, I'm telling you. <laughs> With that, that concludes our ceremony for today. Again, thank you very much for coming. <laughs>